Hey, so congratulations, you found me in spite of my shadow ban and not even, the, the great majority of my subscribers are not even seeing my uh, my videos. They're not being informed that I have new videos. So, but today I'm reading the three halves of Eno Mosho and by Cesar Calvo. And this is from the chapter, all of the compass are assassinated, but none of them die. The Viracocha, that is to say, the whites, long ago lived in a lagoon, ponders Don Juan Tuesta, with eyes closed. In the full of an ayahuasca night. Somebody who is not Don Juan Tuesta, but is Don Juan Tuesta, has occupied his body, overflows it without containment, and comes out through his dream walker mouth. Near the Viracocha lived the Campa, in other words, the Ashaninka. On a certain day, a Kampa heard barking noises coming from the lagoon. Well, I'll fish that dog. And to do that, he took some bananas with him. But since bananas are food for human beings, the dog was offended and refused to eat them. In turn, all of the Viracocha came out of the lagoon and began to pursue, then kill the Kampa. They killed all of the Kampa. The lagoon dried out. A single Kampa survived, a sorcerer, one of those sorcerers called Shiribyare, a Kampa who uses tobacco. Because you should know that not all sorcerers use tobacco, only Shirimpiare do. The other sorcerers have other spaces and a different name. They are called Katsibureri. The surviving Shirimpiare invoked Tsiho, the buzzard, and said, Come, help me. The Viracocha have killed all my brothers. Where? asked Tsiho. Everywhere, the Kampa Shirimpiari answered, but mainly in the great Pajonal. You should know that the great Pajonal, Don Juan Tuesta tells me, is the territory of the Campa Nation, more than 100,000 square kilometers of pure flat jungle, an infinite plateau in the middle of the great forests and rivers that adjoin the high Amazon jungle in the direction of Cusco. It was there in the great Pajono that the Campa resisted the Inca conquerors, repelled the Spanish conquerors. Even today, they do not allow any Western church, nor police station, nor soldiers, nor school of the Viracocha style. It was then that Siho, the buzzard, when he learned of the massacre committed by the whites, gave the Shirimpiari the Ivanki, the magic herb, also called Piri Piri. And with the Ivanki, the Campo sorcerer could kill all of the Viracocha in revenge. Only one escaped and went downriver to the Ukayali. That is why, since then, there have been many Viracocha in the Ukayali, and who knows where else. Meanwhile, in the great Pajonal, Siho was eating the dead Viracocha. He cooked them first and then ate them. <laughs>